It wasn't long ago that females were underrepresented in the art world. Males dominated the art industry during the 20th century. For my final project, we will see how females impacted abstract expressionism during the 40s and 50s, which was very popularized in New York and San Francisco during this era. Many of the most popular abstract expressionism paintings are made by males. Today we will discuss and learn about the abstract expressionism paintings made by females and how they contributed into the era. We will read about Lee Krasner and her paintings and how she added her own taste and her own ideas into the era. Lee Krasner was born as Lena Krasner on October 27, 1908 in Brooklyn, New York. She was one of the six children and the only one born in the United States. As a 14-year-old, she enrolled in the Washington Irving High School in New York City, and that's where she studied start studio art. When she graduated from there, she was awarded with the scholarship to attend the Women's Art School of Cooper Union. Following that, she pursued yet more education in the illustrious National Academy of Design, which she completed in 1932. She was a key and important artist in New York during the Abstract Expressionism era. Her own career was compromised by her role as a supporter of White to Jackson Pollock, another artist who was very popular during the times. She was really involved in synthesis of abstract form and psychological content. Krasner was a key and transitional figure within abstraction who connected early 20th century art with the new ideas of post-war World War II America. She had such great talent and was advanced in her art skills. She had an intensive training in art, which enabled her to revise her style and technique multiple times over the, her career, which allowed her to distance herself from artists such like Mark Rothko and Barney Newman, whose works was found too rigid and repetitive. Krasner thought of her paintings to be as an autobiography, as she quoted herself, saying, I think my paintings are as autobiographical if anyone can take the trouble to read it. She also had trouble telling her paintings. She had the help of author's friends like Richard Howard and Stanford Friedman. She would even use phrases from her house cleaner's small daughter as her ties, such as flowering limb and happy lady. As quoting from a book, her marriage to Pollock in 1945 created Mrs. Jackson Pollock, an identity that legally and practically all but replaced the former Lee Krasner for a good many years. Sadly, because her artwork was overshadowed by her husband's, she didn't get as much publicity in the art media, but she was one of the many abstract expressionists who embraced the self-revelatory and liberatory forms of non-objective art. We would look into one of Crash's amazing abstract expressionist paintings made in 1965 titled Night Creatures. This painting shows white splotches of paint with black swirls all over it. You can tell by the way it looks that not much thought was put into it. The painting seems very catastrophic and out of control. When you look into the painting, you can see as if faces and eyes were staring back at you, hence the title, Night Creatures. This painting looks very nightmarish and claustrophobic, as you can see that the painting is filled up with these black swirls. You can see that this painting has so much little detail, but so much meaning to it as well. As you can see here, she only used two certain colors, black and white. But with that, she made a, a painting that has so much meaning into it. Krasner is known for her simplicity in her abstract expressionistic paintings. As you can see here in this work titled Gold Stone, there is blotches of yellow or goldish paint splattered all over the canvas. But with that, you can see a horse in the painting. You can see a horse straddling through the canvas. You can see many things using your imagination. That's what makes this painting so amazing. Like for instance, below the horse, what I see is a female ballerina dancer dancing, and I also see fishes below her. It's so astonishing seeing that how her artwork could create many ideas. You can see in both these paintings, there's simplicity, but with that simplicity comes many ideas put into it. Krasner obviously had skill and talent in what she was doing. It seems that she conjoined abstract expressionism with minimalism, and it is very pleasing to the eye to look at with its simple artworks. Today, many of Krasner's artwork are put in display in museums such as the Art Institutes of Chicago, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, the Tate Gallery in London, and many more. Krasner passed away on June 19, 1984 in New York City. Her artwork would start to be recognized after her death. 
Lee Krasner was considered the first woman of what Barbara Rose called the heroic first generation of abstract expressionists, and one of the few who worked on abstract expressionism before World War II. There is no doubt that she had many great creations. She was very skilled in her artwork and was a very talented artist. As you can see from these paintings, females did have an impact in the art industry during abstract expressionism. Sadly, many of these other female artists were unheard of because of how society viewed females in the art industry.